national crisis, really. Teenagers abusing prescription drugs to get high. Statistics show that one in five teenagers admits to abusing painkillers and the effects can turn deadly. Health reporter and registered nurse Allie Gorman joins us with proof of that, really. Yeah, this is a really sad and scary story. For many teenagers, the thought is because prescription drugs are legal, they're not dangerous. But one Gloucester County mother is trying to change that attitude. Tonight, she shares her story. Charlotte Andrews says her son Sean was a motorhead from the time he was little. In high school, he had lots of friends and a girlfriend. He went to church and still liked fixing up old cars. But by the time he turned 19, his life was spiraling out of control. Sean started using prescription drugs like OxyContin while he was in high school. He got the drugs then from friends. Partying, you know, Friday nights, nothing to do. Then Charlotte says he hurt his back and was given a prescription for the drug. He soon started crushing and snorting OxyContin and quickly became addicted. When he lost his health insurance, he switched to a cheaper drug, heroin. It just went out of control. The severe depression set in when he couldn't have it. It was a constant fight within his own self to know that he didn't want to live his life like that, but yet at the same time the terrible craving in his mind that he couldn't, he couldn't overcome. There was a lot of tears shed on this floor. She says he was in and out of rehab. When he finally got clean, he was given a fentanyl patch by a doctor for his back pain. Thought pain patch would be safe. Nothing he can snort. Um, he cut it open and licked the the uh, fentanyl out of the patch. That overdose killed him. He was 21 years old. Now Charlotte has started a parent group that aims to save lives. The group meets at Clearview Regional High School, and while the superintendent there doesn't think the problem is any worse at Clearview, the school board supports the group and wants to be proactive about the problem. If you have information that there are issues out there and you don't address them, I think you're negligent. The parents have started a t-shirt campaign hoping to get teens to save their friends. Rowan University has also donated informational pamphlets for parents. Experts say some possible warning signs for drug use include messy appearance or poor grooming, disappearance of money or valuables, a change in sleeping habits, and overuse of over-the-counter products to treat red eye or nasal irritation. I will no longer be a victim no longer part of the system. Charlotte printed Sean's poems, the ones he wrote while in rehab on his memorial card. Now she hopes his words will keep other teenagers from going down the path he couldn't get away from. You're stepping into the darkness and you'll never come back. Now Charlotte hopes to expand the awareness